Come on. In a toot. As we are bound by laws, you are bound by wire. Yet your crime was the act of killing. So we must drive you out. Away from the Warek. From protection. From our songs. My chieftain. Kopalai. Am I not your favorite fighter? Do you not recognize me from this tooth you knocked out? How many times have I pulled you from danger by your neck? Made excuses for your behavior? <sighs> you are my favorite! But the shaman is decided. While you wait for exile, think on what brought you here. A test of strength! Who among us would refuse a challenge from an outlander? Not I, but I did not kill him! Hush, hush. You can tell your story to the ice. Uh, uh, You took our Tox mantle. It's mine now. I would like to see that fight. They said that you killed someone. Perhaps I did. If even my chieftain accepts that it, it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Want to tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja Hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light, and the Karja beside me, with his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. So everyone knows you started the fight with this man? Of course. For honor, I'll fight anyone. If, if I wasn't bound, I'd fight to prove myself right now! I don't think that would help you. This is what I am. Each runner in the Warwick has a gift. I brawl. None can take a punch. A fall better than I can? Until this time, I was too drunk. We were grappling, he clapped my ears. I took one last swing as I went down, but not a killing blow. It can't have been. Isn't your Werak supposed to support you? At least give you the benefit of the doubt? When our Werak had cause to quarrel, I was a solution. To fight for its honor and win, they'd call on me. Or, when they needed someone to lose, for appearances, I could do that too. Now when Outlander is murdered without honor, all eyes are on me. I have become my wear at shame. They don't want an incident with the Karja, so you take the fall. That is what I do best. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warwick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the Cloud Shear, leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest. You haven't got a good defense, Inatut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there, other than me and the dead man. Oh. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow, and agreed. I'll see what I can find out. And I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do, until the horn gives a call from my exile? Hmm. I guess we'll take care of that first. It's Frontier Justice? We actually... Uh, Karjik... Oh! The, uh, hold on. Oh, that's just a marker. I got kind of confused there. Now, was this something that we could have accessed before, or is this only no. after... only after we got uh, Aratak's mantle. Okay. This right. was not here. Because except for that one quest way up north, uh, I was fairly certain we'd actually done every side quest. But clearly I was wrong.
Huntress, what business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas's killer over for a proper trial. A proper trial? To fill his mouth with salt, and hold him up for the sun to consider over days. If it is Clement, it may only take his sight, or his wits. Ew. So they have them blinded and parched? Yep. Ugh. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before? Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared, and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Doesn't sound like you trust the Banuk much. They're not without their reasons to keep apart from us. Ten years of reasons. Oh, it's the war. The war is over. We made amends, but no. The land never forgets. Snow and ice keep memory, they say. It takes time for scars to heal. You think I don't know that? I still bear the lashes for refusing one of the Mad King's sun priests. I was your age then. Uh, times of shadow. Times of shadow. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. Derval stormed the palace and still he lives? Derval was a villain from earlier that I had spared. Mm-hmm. This is it. Snow's been disturbed a lot. Like the hunt that was used for the killing blow. Stick. I have a stick, really? Okay. Didn't try to hide the weapon. Question is, is Inatet the kind of fighter who hits from behind with a tree branch? Oh, there's something over there to the left. There's yeah, several so something. Human blood coagulated, mortal blow. Was there something in the snow? Yeah, oh, this. Up there. Now here's something. Lots of leaves and bark scraped off here. When someone pulled out the branch? No. From climbing it. They came through the trees. Oh. There's a rope on the tree up there. Yep, I'm just looking around for anything else. Okay, it's done with the clearing. Anything else? Nope. Okay. So what is up in the tree? Oh. Yo, next branch. Yep. Oh, wow, all of them. Wow, these okay. are ridiculously distant jumps. But all I'm right. surprised that someone would mark them with a rope every uh, it's single the time. Game. It's the game's yeah. mechanics. Yeah, anything that's marked with like a rope or pigeon poop, that is a... Uh, Climbable surface. Um, over there, apparently. Actually, that might be... The trail. It's yeah. a trail. Yeah, because they jumped down. So I've highlighted the tracks now. Originally, I was supposed to do this. Uh, that's what I was trying to figure out from the blood, but... Interesting. Maybe the headdress will be around here somewhere? You'd have a good view of the Karja camp and the clearing. Hmm. 
Wait. Oh, there was a person? Like a aura? It's a silhouette of a person, yeah. Yeah, Aloy is a decent hunt, uh, decent tracker, but she also has like augmented reality <laughs> senses, like because crazy of the bonuses. Yeah. Focus. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite aspects of the game: tracking people. In it's like, sort of the main like what game. they had had this is ominous. with. That end? Can't be. It's like what they had with Twilight Princess with Wolf's scent sense. Yeah, except for the... I I totally respect Nintendo and Twilight Princess, but, like, that sort of stuff doesn't age well. And, like, even eventually this won't have aged particularly well. What? What's... It's just a mechanic. What's to age poorly? Someone covered this over. What are they trying to hide? It felt really clunky with Wolf Link, you know, years later. You know, at the time, it must have been amazing, but now that I've played the Arkham games and this, it didn't feel as Hard good. Armor. This looks bad. All I'm saying is one of the first instances I ever saw of... Oh, they must be... People who still have... Uh... A grudge, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to climb this one. I mean, there's that tree right next to you. This Not that one, that one. Up. Rukul, Nanook, Anatai. Wait. Isn't that the name of the... No, it wasn't the... Oh, wait, over your, to your... Uh, you keep changing directions. Over so to your right. Here? I mean, I could maybe go around. Let me take a look. No. I have to get up there. Well, if you notice, there's... Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Someone's here! Not Banook. Then she won't be missed. Got a live one! Ah, just an all-out brawl then, huh? Okay. Where have the other two disappeared to? Do do headshots work? They do. Holy crap, lightning spear is effective. Gonna tear you down. Yeah, but headshots are super effective Better on watch humans. watch out for the lady. Isn't she going to get up and hit you? No, she's dead. She's dead too? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I killed the shit out of them. Shh. Don't swear. Sorry. Uh, the lightning spear is a more or less guaranteed stun on people. Or at least often, yeah. You've been killing Karja. And for what? Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another. I'll tell you, not the ones who fought, not the ones whose songs are silenced, but my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? Oh, that's why you followed us. For that punch-drunk idiot in it. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the cold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some more evidence first. <laughs> Trophies. The mask. Mm-hmm. Yep, the headdress. If I can select it, <laughs> newer than the rest. Must have belonged to Ruas, so it was a Karja soldiers. Not that it's any excuse. Did they keep any clothes from their victims? This Karja gear's not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, he'll take what he gets. 
Okay, time to get moving. I need to listen to the soundtrack for this game. Mm -hmm. It is like actually really good. Oddly calm music for having just fought some taken people. Out, yeah, like three dissenters. Yeah. I want to play one of these games where, like, the character, like, legitimately is getting PTSD from, like, the shit that they're going through. But I can't think of any games that, like, really handle it, handle that well. Well, any of those horror games that you play where the camera shakes so much that you can't really control your actions that's, anymore, that's... I, kind of? That's not really like PTSD necessarily though. Like that's a that's a horror game. And they do have like kind of elements that would like imply that the person is is having a breakdown as a result. Mhm. Mm <laughs> oh, watch out. You don't want them to become hostile. Yeah, I'm faster than them. I'm not too worried about it. As long as I'm not hit with, like, lightning. Oh, I yeah. forgot to loot and the bo bodies. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, well. Alan Wake. Oh, yeah. Alan Wake might have had it, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'd heard of those games. People that were was... suggesting I play them at some point. <laughs> you can't get them anymore. Hmm? They're not available. Well, on disc. No, period. Uh, the The copyright on the soundtrack ran out. So I'd actually probably recommend against it. Well, no, no, no. Can you disable the music or what's up? Uh, maybe, but uh, woo, hi. What do you I mean by the copyright ran out? Let's go, oh, Thunderbird, up there. Yep. I've gotta put up a fight. <sighs> Ouch! Whatever projectile it sent your way took out all your shields. The thing's almost dead. It yeah, there is. it goes. He brought friends, of course. Might as well fight them while I'm down here where they can't knock me down. Which they have this unfortunate tendency now, to do. Now, can you do. explain to me why Alan Wake is no longer the viable? The copyright on the soundtrack ran out. And? So does that mean the game doesn't even have the right to have the music yeah, in the Yeah, so game? like... It's not available on Steam anymore. Like they they straight up have removed it. Really? Be yep. Fascinating. Yeah. If they weren't looking for me. Because people had suggested that I play them, and I'm like, oh. I, mean, I okay. heard good things about them, but yeah, there was a there was a thing where they were selling them for like pennies on the dollar earlier. This is come on, Aloy. Yeah, can you let yourself down? I can't. She can't. She does not go down. She doesn't go anywhere. She just... Come on, Aloy. Down. Thank you. I always thought that there would be a drop function on ledges. Uh, not on all of them. Yeah, like, all I had to do was just peg this guy a handful of times. Is he still alive somehow? Okay, there he goes. I think he's outside of range, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to climb that tr fallen tree, I think. Kind of place you'd take someone if you wanted to lose them forever. I'm not getting up that frozen waterfall. Maybe along the sides. Let's see. There's also Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Yep, we've heard of that one. Um, too. the thing about her though is she she's just mentally ill to begin with. It is she actually like getting worse over the course of it, or is it, she just dealing with? her own mental issues while she's going through the game. I don't know. Uh, didn't we just have a discussion the other day while walking that you wanted to find games that were cheery and enjoyable as opposed to ones where you despise half the characters? I want to play new things. So part of it is I've been playing a lot of dreary games lately. And mm -hmm. you know, this one's not so bad. You know, it's got its up uh, high points, which is nice. Um, but like, I've been playing Elex for like the last month now. You're really, really jittery right now. I I mean I've been sitting in this chair for the past six hours. Towards the <laughs> solid. Mixed feelings about that. Towards the end of every stream I get kind of uncomfortable. 
my eyes are drying out and, you know, my face is itchy and I, I just want to stop. But I got stuff to do. Okay, she gets worse over the game. Interesting. I'll have to take a look, uh, take a look at that. In a tent. Maybe he found shelter. I hope he found shelter. Maybe there's a beast that you're gonna have to fight. Oh no, there he is. Behind the rock. Oh, he's really down to his skivvies. The Nora girl? Is it really you, or has the bone chill got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead cautious close. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. I swear, thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said, we're surprised you ended up here. <laughs> you better hurry. Machines. Whee! Yep. Bunch of hounds. Or they're the prowlers. Uh... I, I call them scrappers. Oh, you took out that tree, too. Yeah. There we go. That was easy. There's more. Whoa, big one. A big bear. Two. Whoa, big bears. And they crushed the boulders. Don't let him die. It'd be a shame if you- Oh no, uh, he ain't gonna die. NPCs are immortal in this game. Remember the uh, the three hunters that were kind yeah. of incompetent? Yeah, they were fine. No matter how long the fight goes on. I I would still never bank on it though. Oh, I'm so glad I got that crit upgrade. Cause don't you? Cause what's the question mark? Is that just the other one or? Ow. Yeah, the question mark is the other one because it doesn't know where I am yet. Yeah. Bah! Don't know how anyone could survive this. Uh, everybody, I mean... I really like the, uh, the theory that... These guys are barreling over people, like rolling? Yep. I really like the idea that the the humans are also like machine assisted, like they're genetically modified to be more effective. Ah. Uh. You think you're tough? Okay, I'm gonna have to give up on the whole uh, shooting it with lightning thing because apparently it's killing me. Any more bomb arrows? Uh, I have more. Whoa, I am down whoa. here now. I'll beat him in the uh. It is just tearing through everything in the environment. Yeah, these bears are rough. I don't mind them, but they do so much damage. And they can also grow ice or fling it. Yeah, I probably should have equipped... Ice and earth. I should have equipped some of the, uh, some of the, or used one of those frost potions. I missed. Whoa. Ah, he's just a sliver of health. Where is it? There you are. Whoa. Jesus. They're so fast. Yeah, they don't really give you much time to retaliate. Nope. Well, you got his chest shield off. Yep. Unfortunately, that hurts me. Not a fair fight, but I take that. There it Finally. goes. Finally. Oh boy. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to go stock up on resources after this. Well, let's talk to him and see what he's gonna do. Is he gonna be able to go back to the tribe, or does he have to I remain mean, presumably, in exile? I mean, presumably, if he was uh, cused out of turn, then... Oh, useful. If he was accused, I mean, if he's innocent of the crime committed, there's no reason why he should remain exiled. Mm -hmm. Now that was a fight. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. It's not something I'm used to. Who knows what could happen. I'll see you at town then. You had better make it. All right? I give my pledge. So by Banuk law, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I legitimately believe the humans in this universe were genetically modified. Uh, like, obviously, video game logic kind of dictates that they're going to be tougher than actual humans. But also, like... They would probably only choose prime specimens. Kind of, yeah, but like... All life went extinct. Why not sort out some of the little issues? We haven't seen anybody, I think? I haven't seen anybody that's nearsighted. <laughs> that would need glasses, you mean? Yeah, glasses. Um, not that, sorry. Wander has glasses. Yeah. I mean, technically... If We've we're actually discussed this. If, like, we actually had to survive in a situation where there were just no new... Glasses and prescriptions and things being manufactured, I'd like be how trouble, people yeah. would be. Yeah. I mean, I could do stuff like farming, no problem. Yeah, Aloy is a clone. Yeah, so Aloy, for example, you know, maybe, well. Well, the other thing that I always wonder about cloning too is haven't they determined that the clone becomes as old as the base DNA to which they, from which that they had been cloned? No, no you could. Like, they, they'd actually found out that when they cloned, like, Dolly the sheep, she was played with, like, an early onset of whatever issues her clone donor had been because oh. technically mm. you, were, you were acquiring DNA at a later stage in its life when it had already shut off its telomeres, like, some of them, so... I mean, that was also really early cloning. I don't think they have that problem anymore. Well, usually you have to probably get, like... Here. How about we ask my dad about it? Because I'm sure he'd have an answer. <laughs> Inatut told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Werek, my Nora friends. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Werek, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their Karja victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. That also sounds like Jennifer Hale again, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I bet we could look it up. Yeah, I don't like that chieftain. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts I could just keep walking but when my anger has thawed it will leave me with nothing where else would I go
You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions like... Do I start with the left? Or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatet. That's why I believed you. It was my Chieftain who taught me honesty. Said... A Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatet. Oh, what did he give you? Blue gleam in a reward box. Both are acceptable. Mm-hmm. Gets me a lightning weapon coil, which is actually really, really useful for me. There's the ice writ. I have not even used that yet. Storm Slinger. So I have... Yeah, this is better. Not much, but it's better. Hmm. Yeah, so we can... We've done that. Uh... Ba -da -ba -da. We have... Well, the chat's talking about the whole cloning thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really know how... How Aloy hasn't been aging as much as her donor. Unless they really did pioneer cloning in the future. I mean, it was... Uh, one of the sections I haven't been to. Um... I, I think everything more or less started falling apart in the 2030s and 40s. And I think by 2050, humanity was gone, like, done for. Or is it 2060 that it was done for? I'd have to double check all the lore. I, it's interesting when you look at, say, I, I grew up with a lot of movies from the 50s and such. And they were predicting enormous leaps in space travel and technology even as early as I mean, the, the 80s or is, the early 2000s, and we, we haven't actually, achieved that. If we had actually kept, like, focusing on the space program like we had instead of this, like, Cold War bullshit that more or less ruined, like, politics and other things. I mean, obviously, we have oligarchical issues and, like, a bunch of other things. But if we had actually, like, focused on NASA like we had... Back when we were racing the Russians, we probably would have gotten to Mars and other planets by now in the system. Yeah, we probably would have. I I know. Um, uh, but the I, problem is, I know they're Elon, like, what's the benefit? What's the benefit of doing tons. so? I know, like finding new resources and studying. Oh, finding whether or not there's life on any of them would be really nice. Mm-hmm. Like the moons and whatnot. I mean, maybe that ice one. That's that's Europa. Yeah, Europa or bust, honestly. Though there could be them up. other forms of life, creatures that live in an anaerobic environment. True. Or feed off other uh, gases and. But did you did run you... over a turkey? Yes. Mm hmm. But yeah, I, I know Elon Musk was talking about doing a mission to Mars within the next couple of years. Well, um, if he has the money to do it, uh, well, unfortunately, they keep I think getting more and more somehow. Wasn't there also that program that we had friends signing up for, where it was a one-way ticket to Mars for some kind of colony that they yeah. were doing? What they were probably going to have to do was send individual modules up, and weren't they going to create a city bit by bit, piece by piece, module by module? Yeah. Um, but it was it was gonna be like uh you go beyond Mars and set up the colony and whatever and presumably uh, Presumably it would be one of those where like uh it would be sustainable, just obviously you couldn't come back. Mm-hmm. Well What's the other th thing too is they would have to figure out some kind of advance in magnetic shielding because unfortunately 
Mars just doesn't have the kind of environment necessary to prevent UV rays from well, Mars literally doesn't. killing you. Mars doesn't, but mm -hmm. I mean, you could generally like I want to say the ISS is pretty well shielded. Stuff like asteroid impacts are know. scary. A, a lot of a lot of astronauts still have cancer later in life. I'm sure. I mean, your life expectancy, no matter what, would be lower as a result. I mean, Earth is just so fortunate in that it has just the right mixture of so many factors. Everything from the ozone layer to the magnetic fields and, you know, the proper molten core and everything else, you know? Boy, he's gonna be fun. Sure feels good to be out of knee deep snow. Oh, so, you're doing Varga's mission? I'm ready to do this. On your lead. I don't I have never actually fought one of these. Notebook. Machines. I might have actually fought a Thunderjaw now that I'm thinking about it. Weaknesses. Fire and tear. Oh, jeez. You know, I might have actually fought a Thunderjaw. We have really good mics. Thank you. Now they're hunting me. Oh, are people noticing the difference between our uh, new, like, foamed state versus maybe. the little dragon shield state? Not necessarily. Whoa. What is that massive critter? Thunderjaw. It looks like a T-Rex. Now, when it comes to cloning, I would be in intrigued by the prospect of seeing, say, the woolly mammoth attempts. Supposedly, it's a thing. Well, the thing is, they, they in probably intend to use elephants as a surrogate. Okay, how much does he even have left on him? Unfortunately, I've never fought this guy, but I'm more or less just tearing off all is, of his bits. The thing is, there are so many endangered species right now. It'd be really cool to vivify extinct ones, but it would also be nice to keep the ones that are currently on the edge of extinction intact. Yeah, but like, if we can bring back mammoths, for example, we could bring back like half the rhinos. That have gone extinct. Yeah, as of yet, though, people still haven't really found a way to. I, I think it might work with chickens. They may have found ways for chicken embryos to exist outside of an egg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, that's that's something you like. We could do. You right can do now in a lab. To. I know. We could actually grow chicks uh, in a plastic cup. But that's in part because when they when they form, they're in a a sealed environment with mammals though they're still connected to their mother uh, until they can create artificial wombs of some sort it's going to be difficult for them to bring back species that don't have a, a surrogate that's of similar um oh no this is the first time you've died in a long time yeah um I, yeah, I've, the last time I died was from falling off a cliff. Uh, the, uh, I think the, the shocking weapon actually hits me after a while. Well, didn't you say that last time that you shouldn't use the shock stick too much? Yeah, I guess. It's weird. Well, there he is, again. Uh, looks like most of my stuff just went away. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Mm hmm He's over there. Yeah, the moment I realized um, you couldn't ride one of these suckers into battle was actually the moment I lost a lot of interest in this game. I uh. felt kind of bad about it, but I was like, oh, it'd be so cool. Oh, it isn't enough that you can ride rams and stuff. No, because the rams the are dumb. They're not exciting. Oh, 
Well, you're taking a lot off him. Yep. Whoa! Some tearing down all the trees around him, too. Oh, hey. That's an exciting thing. Whoa! That was a close one. Ow. What was that you were trying to pick up? It was a disc launcher. Oh, for mines? Oh, is Varja helping? Yeah. Varja helped in the last one. Okay. Oh yeah, get those cylinders. And the tail? Yeah, I'm trying to take off his face lasers. And we're out of ammo. Well, there's another one. Yep. Okay. Whoa, yep. face lasers. It looks like he's got scrappers either helping or hurting. I'm not entirely sure. That is cool. And that little side bit is his heart. Nice. Unfortunately, oh. I'm not going to be able to hit it. Well, the tail would help. Whoa. Oh, he's down. I didn't realize I could do that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there and do too much else to him apart from just wail on his leg a little bit. Still. Okay. So I said I'm on fire last time, but I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna go with regular shots. Yeah, that heart thing is his weak point, but it's really hard to hit. Mm-hmm. Who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> He seems pretty focused on Var Varga. Taking mm -hmm. this one apart. Oh, is he gonna stomp? Slash? Yeah, he's stomping. Taking off his bits. Yeah, I don't think I've ever... I think I fought maybe one of these things before. And then well, I... They definitely uh, seem like the king of beasts. Aside from the long necks, what's the largest creature that you face that isn't a, say, boss monster? Uh, the bird... There's no actual... Ooh, the moon's pretty. There's the no moon actual... seems closer than what it should be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What the... Well, it died and it was huh. stock still. It, like, just... flipped over. I should actually probably go kill some more of these things, considering they drop there. pretty good resources. Should be able to fix up the ice rail. All right, so you completed right, her see. quest, right? Yeah. Uh, technically, apparently, we can actually go get her flamethrower. Forget about traveling light. Oh, hmm. the shard salvager. Oh, well, that's. It's a skill. Yeah. Hold on. Inventory mods. Uh, let's see. Disassemble. Yeah. So, unfortunately, you have. Hefty limita uh, inventory limitations in this game, which I mm, don't kind of like. Mm -hmm. I don't like. It'd be nice if you could actually automatically disassemble anything below a certain threshold. Get rid of all greens kind of thing? Pretty much. Well, okay. made a lot of room. At least it gets me a decent amount of money, too. Okay. Anything else around here? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, there's also a digger uh, type of machine. If we want to take a detour, we could go try and fight them. There's a pair of corrupted ones that are a giant nightmare. Let's see what Varja has to say. Found the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of a Thunderjaw's mouth. <laughs> I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Poke slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! <sighs> you weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. 
You've done good work with this weapon, Varja. Told you I was good. Anyway, I'm glad she's in your hands. If I find anything I think you'd like, I'll be back around. You better. Okay, completed the ice rail. Yep. So if we wanted to... Oh, right, this do, is going to be... Do you want to do the... So a couple of things we can do. We can actually come up here and fight these guys. Who are they? Um, are they the bandits? Yeah, they're the bandits that stole her weapon. Okay. There's also the claws beneath. And there's... We've done that one. We've got a quest there. I guess let's grab a couple of these. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a long loading time to before we actually get there. I wonder if we'll have anything more to say to her father after all of this. I, don't know. It, I would, I, I would like to see them together. That's the thing. Yeah. Have we ever seen them talk together? I, I actually really liked that with the Karja because the two of them were talking to me, not just, uh, not just one. Mm -hmm. Well, more it's just we were talking with her father, and he was speaking fondly of her and how they were, uh, doing that business together. Yeah. 